Hello everyone and welcome back to Niche. And we are here with our tribe on what seems to be a savanna island. And we do have what in the heck? What is this th place? I'm very confused by this. I don't I think it's supposed to be another port and it almost looks like it's supposed to be a winter port, but I don't know. It looks different. I don't know. We're not going to mess with that one. What we're looking at is this port over here uh, where we have uh, quite a few, or well, we have five. We have we have the the killer island again, the killer snow island, and we're gonna make our way over to that. Even though it is all the way across this island, I don't know what in the world this is. Um, hmm, huh. I don't know what that one is. The ports seem to be a little bit odd in this. Perhaps it might be jungle. It might just look really dark and actually be jungle. I'm not positive. Uh, we're not near it at any rate, uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to try and make our way across to this, um, uh, to, to this, uh, uh, to the killer snow island. Sorry, I can't think right now. <laughs> um, and try and get over there. And uh, we're going to try, first of all, though, we're probably going to stop and try and do some breeding with Laura because even though she has pretty bad immunity, and uh, these mammoth paws that we don't really want to pass on. They shouldn't be hard to breed out because they tend to be pretty recessive, I think. Uh, I do want to see if we can get a good child with this immunity B gene if we get the chance. So it kind of depends. We'll have to see. I'm just going to start moving these guys um, across this island and uh, see what we can do. Hopefully we'll be able to find some food too because even though we only have five creatures, uh, we don't have that much food, and it's going to go down pretty fast. So let's keep, let's make sure we're clear in the grass. And there's a cactus. Um, if we do happen to have any creatures that we don't need, we may set them to collecting from the cactus. It's not a very nice thought. Ooh, and I kind of want to breed Mare and try and possibly get some of her genetics. And how does she compare? They've got different genetics. So we'll probably meet, breed Mary and Tavanta uh, in pretty short order here. I'm gonna start a new day because we gotta get some new new creatures in this family. And uh, let's, oh, here is a normal berry bush. That's good. Uh, I'm actually gonna have, can La Lara can't collect, can she? No, she can't. Dang it. I really don't like those paws. And uh, let's see. I think I'm actually going to try and breed them now. Uh, let's breed them and have her make a nest. And then I kind of want to, we do have another male. Um, I kind of want to breed Seamate. No, they're, I think they're related to. Um, so yeah, and maybe we'll breed Lara and, yeah, I think we'll breed Lara and, yeah, we'll breed Lara and Tavanta because uh, they have different immunities. So let's, oh good, okay. So I'm actually going to bring... Uh, Taku up here and have him start collecting and then I'm going to uh, put Mary here and we'll breed them and uh, I'm gonna have her make a nest and then I'm going to breed it's Tavanta's last day so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to bring Lara here and breed them and then I'll put her in this nest once Corey has uh, grown enough to move out. So, Corey did... Okay, we're trying to... She got, What did Corey get? Let's see. I can't click Corey. Hold on. Nah. There we go. Um, that's Lara. Corey got double runner leg, which is good, because that's really what I wanted to pass on um, from Mary. And then, do we have any creatures? Other creatures with the D immunity? We have... Simei has the D immunity. And then, do we have G immunity? I believe... Um, yeah, no. Corey got the G immunity. And then you have I immunity. And Taku has I immunity. So we should be okay on immunity. And I'm going to keep moving this way. Keep clearing the way. And then... You know what? We're going to lose Tavanta this next turn anyway. So I'm going to have him destroy this cactus. Which, it did kill him, but he was going to die anyway. So this way, at least, he was able to leave some, behind some food for the tribe. It sounds a little bit brutal, but we really, uh, we can't afford to waste food here in this savanna. So we got to collect that. And then let's see. There we go. And then I'm actually going to move Corey here. And we'll put Lara in this nest. She can't collect. 
I'm going to have Taku. Is there anywhere he can dig? I don't think so. I'm going to have these guys. I kind of want to breed Taku. You know what? You can destroy this nest, too. I'm going to breed these guys as well. Because I want, um... I want to make sure that we, uh... Can we dig in any of these spots? No. That we have some children to pass on Taku's genetics as well. We do have a male who did get this D immunity, which is very, very good. And, um who has a lot of the good genetics. He actually got big body, which is also very good. Uh, so yeah, a lot, a lot of good things have happened. And uh, we're going to start a new day. I'm going to move Nuro over here. And then I'm going to put... I'm going to have Simei. I'm going to breed them again. Breed them and then put her in a nest. And a Lara. Okay, I'm going to bring Corey up here. Corey will continue moving. And then how many... Taku is getting pretty old. Um, I'm actually going to destroy and gather and sit here. And let's see. So, oh, Miana got this good immunity B. Now, she does have a mammoth paw, and she does have the medium tail, and she did get, she does have bad fertility, but I think overall. She got pretty good genetics. I'm not going to breed Lara again. So Lara will probably end up becoming a cactus collector. I'm sorry, Lara. But uh, she does, I think, have the strength to destroy cactus, perhaps. So let's... And I destroyed the berry bush here because we are going to move on. I'm going to bring... Oh my, what is this? That is a rogue. Um, can't exactly do much. <sighs> yeah, I couldn't stop that from happening. Uh, but we do want to make sure we stop. I'm going to bring Lana on here. I'm going to attack this guy. I'm going to... Oh, gosh. I need him to move. There we go. So we're going to quickly put Simei here. And then before he can breed with her... What? No, that better not have happened. I'm going to attack you hard. Because this is Taku's last turn. Oh, if you... You're a jerk. All right, come here. We're going to keep attacking. We've got to attack with everything we've got. This guy's not going to die right away. But hopefully he won't hurt Corey too badly. I'm going to actually come over here. And then let's start a new day. She had better... All right, okay. Oh, no, he did hurt her. Okay, a little bit. But we had twins, and it looks like, I think... Yeah, we did manage to get the breeding in before that rogue male attacked. Uh, let's keep attacking. There we go. Carnivore is dead. There is an, a naturally formed nest up here. And here is a cactus. I'm going to bring Miana up this way. I'm being pretty careful because of the birds. I'm actually going to have Miana... Oh, she can't. Dang it, she's not strong enough, and she doesn't have any gathering. So we actually can't do anything. I'm not going to have her have her baby, because we're going to be leaving her behind on this island. And we got to keep moving, so I'm going to bring Nuduk up this way. We're going to destroy this nest. I'm going to put Simei here, and let's look at the new babies that we got. So some of them did get, they both did get the digger paw, which is not what I was hoping for. Uh, but they did get pretty good genetics overall. Uh, so that is definitely helpful. Uh, with that said, we've got to keep, uh, we got to keep gathering food because we are pretty, uh, pretty low on it. So I've got to figure out, I, I want to figure out which are our top five creatures. I'm probably not going to have Simei come because she's getting a little bit older. I want to have some of the younger creatures come. I'm looking a lot at Kier Kier perhaps because if Kier Kier has, so we have one, two, three, we, ha we have three females. So Miana who we want to make sure we just got to breed with someone who doesn't have D immunity. I'm going to probably bring three females and two males. Um, so Lara, I'm going to have Lara keep gathering a way through. And all, I think all of these females I want to bring. So let's see. So Miana couldn't breed with him, but could breed with Taravon. Now the immunity is not the greatest, but would these guys be a good match? I'm just trying to figure out if they would be a good match. I think Tarovan might be a good match. What about... He has better immunity. They have the same... I think, actually, Nuduke has better immunity. 
or not better immunity, better fertility. So new Duke, I think we're going to bring, I'm going to mark all the females that we're bringing in blue and put them on alpha so that if we do get to a food shortage and we're going to bring Cora, even though she's a little bit injured and we're going to bring uh, Lala, La, Lala Anna. And let's see. So I think we're going to bring new Duke. And how, what are the females immunity? So B and D, A and G, D and F. So A and F, A and G, D and F. So he could breed, New Duke could breed with, um, New Duke and Miana can breed, but he can't breed with any of the others. So we need, do we have any males that have, so A and D, A, D, so... Neuro is not a good option. Has D immunity. A and F. A and G. D and F. Great. None of these guys are good options. Um, hmm. Who has the best genetics then? Neuro is pretty good. Neuro has better fertility. Um, and so does Kier Kier. Kier Kier has a digging paw. I think I want to bring Neuro. I'm going to bring Neuro. And I'm going to put Kier Kier here and we'll destroy this nest. And I'm actually going to bring uh, Sime up this way. And then we'll move Tar Taravon up here. I'm going to bring Neuro. Even though we are a little bit at risk for... Uh, Potentially having some problems. Uh, yeah, we want to be... I'm actually going to put uh, Simei right here. Uh, we want to be... So I'm going to mark... I marked Neuro. Okay. Um, we, we'll have to be kind of careful with the breeding and see if we can find a better option soon. But for now, this will work. And I'm actually going to have Simei start collecting cactus because we are just about to... That is a carnivore. All right, Taravon, you're going to have to help attack. Um, Kier Kier can help attack. Okay, we got him. I'm actually going to bring uh, Lara back here and have her gather up that meat. And then Sime is going to attack the cactus. And it will be our cactus collector because we're not bringing her along. So let's see. You can gather from this bush. And we're going to keep moving this way. Keep gathering. We want a clear path for those who are to follow. And these guys are going to continue this way. Corey can continue this way. The rest of these guys, it's not so vital they make it across. Um, it's mostly these five that we want to make it across. Alright, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna keep them moving, though. Because... Oh, great. Yeah, because we don't have much food. And, uh... I'm not gonna have her nest. Let's see. Let's come up here. I'm gonna have New Duke gather... And then keep moving. We'll gather this. Come up here. Gather this. Keep moving this way. We've got about enough food for one more turn. And let's continue on this way. Here we go. Here's another cactus. We're going to have to bring Sime. I'm going to bring Sime up here. And I'm actually going to have her destroy... I guess that didn't give us any food. Dang it. Um, so I'm actually going to have Sime come and destroy this cactus and then these guys are going to keep moving this way we don't have enough food and all the ones we're bringing should be on alpha to make sure that they are the ones that get food because unfortunately we can't bring everyone and uh, we don't want the ones that are being left behind we can't we're, we're going to need the food for those that are coming so we're almost there and then these guys, is there any food that you guys can get with your digger paws? I do not see any. Dang it. All right. Yep, nope. And then we'll gather some of this. And I'm going to put everybody who is not staying, or who's not going on Omega. And let's see, Lara I think is going to pass away. Sime is going to pass away, but these five should survive, and we won't have very much food. That's going to be the problem. So I'm going to start a new day. 
Um, gosh, I really need these guys to find something. But, no, uh, this is not a good situation, you guys. Uh, this is a very, very bad situation. Okay, so I'm gonna put Corey on here. I'm gonna put New Duke on here. There's fish. If they come close, we've gotta try and catch them. Uh, let's get everyone up here. Oh, yes, can you fish them? You can fish them. Good. All right, let's come this way, this way, and this way. So we're gonna have two food. Uh, we might have to have some creatures take damage. Dang it. Yep. Oh, excuse me for one moment. My apologies for that, my phone went off. Okay, so I'm seeing some good things already. So first of all, if we look, we can see the ice. Both of them are right along the edge and there's two of them. So we'll probably head off to the killer normal island next. Um, or possibly just to a grass island. Uh, we could send somebody up here and try and break that creature free. Uh, but first of all, one of, the, one of the absolute first things we need to do is start getting on this crabbit. And uh, seeing if we can have anybody attack this crabbit. We're going to have some creatures that are going to take damage this turn. There's no denying it. But we got to figure out which of them we want. Uh, we got to figure out which two of these we don't want to take damage. So I think it's a pretty important to have one male that has... Or one breeding pair. So let's see. So Nuduke and Miana can breed. For sure. The others will be a bit of a risk. So I think we're going to have to... I'm going to put everybody else on beta. And they're going to take a little bit of damage. But I think these guys are going to be the most important. Because we can ensure that we have healthy babies with them. So I'm going to start a new day. Some of them are going to take damage. But we're going to do our best to immediately remedy the situation. Alright, we got a crabbit. That's going to give us four food. And let's quickly... I hear my dog freaking out. Uh, we gotta try and find something else to eat. Someone else is going to have to take damage this turn, probably. Um, we, we've got to find a bunny burrow and quickly. Oh, here is actually a bunny burrow. Okay, there is a bunny. So out of these guys now, we've got to see... So out of the betas, Corey has taken some damage. I think she has some pretty good genetics that are important to preserve. And I think, I think we're going to let um, Neuro take the damage because he, even um, New Duke could breed with the other females. He doesn't have the same amount, he doesn't have the same immunity genes on both as any of them. Whereas um, Neuro does share common immunity with both of them. So we're going to start a new day again. And we've got to quickly kill this bunny. Gather that food. That's going to give us four food again. I'm going to bring uh, Neuro this way. I'm going to leave him. Because I think out of everyone, he is going to be the uh, least vital. Alright, let's come this way. We've got to get over here. There's bunnies. Okay. Okay. I'm going to start a new day, and then we're going to try and kill some of these bunnies. Neuro is going to take some damage. I'm sorry, Neuro. Um, and uh, let's quickly try and kill that bunny. And then there's a bunny in the hot spring. And we got the bunny in the hot spring, so we've got enough food for this turn. Alright, I'm going to actually bring Neuro up this way. And it's going to be very difficult to actually sustain this population. I'm going to have Neuro be the one to probably break this um, this ice thing. So we've, what we've got to do is we've got to keep moving. All right. Oh, there's crabbits down here. So I think I'm going to set up here and we can attack one of the crabbits. And uh, next turn, we should be able to uh, get some food from fighting the crabbits, perhaps. 
So nobody's dying this time. I'm actually going to get this bunny. That will enable us to stain ourselves a little bit longer. I'm going to see... I'm going to bring Neuro this way so that we can actually get Nuduk down. And he can help attack. And then I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring Neuro back this way. And then Lana can come down here. We've got enough food for this time. And I'm going to start a new day. And then we're going to have to uh, kill the Crabbit. Alright. And then Lalana can... Oh! Oh goodness. Okay. Gotta get her out of there. Quickly. Alright. She did take a little damage. So then I think now that we have a little bit more food... I'm going to put Miana in the nest and I'm going to breed her and Nuduke because they have totally different immunity. And hopefully we can get some of these worst genetics out. Um, and then I want to probably try and breed Kore too. Um, but not necessarily... I'm not necessarily going to do it this turn. And then I think I'm going to break this ice and see if this creature is what? Ooh, okay, whoa. Uh, what? Digging trunk. Digging and smelling. Ooh! Siana. Okay, is there anything we can smell? There is food up here. Okay, that could be kind of useful. Okay. Okay. So, she has, she also has, she has H immunity. Hmm. She might be worth breeding as well. Hmm. Okay, so she will probably be helpful, but I don't know how much we want to breed her. So I'm actually going to bring, we're not going to have enough this time. All right, there is a bunny. Let's see if we can get Corey. Well, no, I kind of want to breed Corey. Can we get, oh, Sienna can reach the bunny and kill the bunny and get the food. All right, how did the baby, the baby is good, has bad immunity and did not get the, the gene we were hoping for. Dang it. All right. And then I'm also going to have Corey nest. Because unless both of them have twins, we should have enough. I may actually, oop. I may actually just have them go off to, ugh, I really want to have, someone's got to get up there. And um, Neuro is going to die. Someone needs to get up there. And get to that um, that ice up there and see if it's worth uh, bringing that creature along. So I'm going to start a new day. All right. There is a, a bird. I'm going to have Sienna kill this bunny. That should give us a little more food. Um, do we, we lost Neuro, I'm pretty sure. And then are any of these creatures going to be ones we want to bring? So let's see. Um, we have a cracker jaw who could be helpful. Got the mammoth paw, unfortunately. And so far, no one has gotten Miana's good immunity. So, let's see. New New Duke. Or New Duke Duke. A and D. What is yours? A and F. If we look at the females we have, Lalana has D. Lamera has... Lamera is the new baby. G and F... Okay, so we could potentially breed these two if we wanted to. What about this one? Nuvon. D and A. They have the same immunity. Now, okay, let's see. We have that mammoth paw again with him. And I don't want that passing on. So even though we have lower immunity, I think Nuduke Duke is going to be the one that we want to keep. And then I think, this sounds awful, but I think we're going to maybe have to let the bird eat one of the babies. It sounds terrible. Oh my goodness. Um, and I'm going to have Nuduke keep running this way. I'm, let's see. Let's make sure we really want to do this. We don't need as many males. <sighs> let's see. He does have cracker jaw, which is nice, but so does Nuduke Duke. He could pass it on still. Yeah. I don't think there's really a good way to get around it. And then Kore. Um, I think I want to keep these guys. Because they could have a Cracker Jaw baby. And they are uh, able to breed without um, 
without problem. So we want to do that, and then I think we're going to have to- Ah, this sounds so terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, man. We're going to destroy these nests, because we're not going to be breeding them here anymore. And then... Who are we not bringing who could afford to- I think we're going to bring these guys. We're going to bring New Duke. We're going to bring... Miana, if she has not managed, if she doesn't manage to produce a baby that actually has the um, a good immunity gene. And because these babies both got the, yeah, they both got the tail as well, which is good. I don't think even though Sienna is helpful, we can, we're going to bring her. I think I'm going to let Sienna take a thing of damage because she's most able to handle it. And let's see. Let's start a new day. I'm sorry. All right. So let's come up here. Brilliant. All right. I'm going to... Oh my gosh. Okay. Tadakir. Oh gosh. All right. Tadakir, I need you to help us. There's lots of bunnies here. Uh, antlers. That's new. Megaloceros horns. They give two strength. Okay. All right. He is coming. So we have our five. Um, and I'm putting him on alpha so that he does not die. I think, and he's got I and E, which is totally different than any of our creatures have had so far. So I'm going to start moving these guys. Naduke Duke can go off on his own now. Um, Lamera, if I move here, we can move Lamera here. And I can get Lilana, I think off of this. So I'm actually going to put Miana here, have her come up here again. Uh, actually, I'll put her back here, and then we'll come and we'll get the leech off. And then, Sienna, do you smell anything? If you come over here, you can come up here and get a little bit more food. And there's another bunny you can get. And um, so, from, so from there, so we're bringing Lalana. What, wait, one? I don't think we're going to bring Lalana. I think we're going to Okay, we're bringing... Wait. Lamera is coming, so that's one. Kore is gonna stay, because she's too old. Um, so one, two, three, four, five. That's three males. Oh, gosh. I don't want to leave New Duke, but I think we might have to. Five. And then which other one will we bring? Hmm. We might just have to bring multiple males. All right. Who took damage? I'm not actually sure who's taking damage. I'm going to have Kore, who's going to die, get this bunny so that we have food. Lamera is going to come this way. We don't Oh, we don't actually have to. Who are you? Kirnu, we don't act, we can't invite you. You've got pretty good genetics. Well, no no, you're sick. Stay away from my creatures. We don't actually have to worry about bringing only 5. Um, Nudit could actually get this bunny. And then Tadakir can come down here and be ready to get it next time. And is there any other food we can get? There is food here. We can get an additional bit. And, um, is there any other food we can get? Dang it. Somebody's still going to take damage. Ah, uh, I think I'm still going to let Sienna take damage. Because I don't think we really want to breed her, even though she does have a good nose. I think we're going to eventually end up trying for the poison fangs. So since we're going to this island, we don't need to be as concerned about the number of creatures. Um, we just got to get survive long enough for these guys to get back. I'm actually going to bring uh, Sienna closer for that purpose. So let's start a new day. We lost our creature there, and it's snowing. Of course it's snowing. All right. I think it's most important to get Tadakir back. Yeah, it's most important to get Tadakir back. Um, and then let's see. Can you smell anything else? There was... Oh, there's a ram fox. It's attacking. Okay, uh, Lamera did not actually take damage, but we can make sure we get some food from that. That will hopefully help us. Yes, we have enough food for one more turn. Let's do that. Are there more ram foxes? There might be. I'm not sure. And then Miana, I'm going to have her continue gathering some grass. And then Sienna, 
is going to come this way because I think, where was it? There was somewhere around here, there is something to dig up. So let's continue to get these guys here. All right, I think we've still got a balance bear chasing us, perhaps. I hear someone taking damage, but I think it's not one of our creatures. And uh, let's... We've only got one food. New Duke, come this way. And please, Tatakir, please make it to the por to the ports. I think we made it to the ports. Okay, good. So I'm not going to bring... I'm not going to bring Sienna. I don't think... I. She has good genetics. She can dig here. Well... You know what? There's no harm in bringing her. We can always set her to Omega if we really have to. And uh, let's go ahead. We'll start. We're, we'll travel to a new island, and then I'm going to wrap up the episode here, I think. Uh, we'll just get to the new island, and let's hope there's berry bushes. And then we'll continue to go back to a snow island. I really want to get that armor body, uh, but we have to start breeding to get those horns in right away, because those are probably the most amazing genetic I've seen. Those will give us an additional plus one strength at the cost of literally nothing. Uh, so we have more of this, um, we've got more of this savannah biome, but we have some good, oh, we have a place for cracker, or for cracking nuts so that we can, uh, use that cracker jaw too. Um, let's come up here and be ready. Oh, we got a nest. Let's, we can come over here and be ready to fight this crabbit. Can anybody else reach the crabbit? Oh, we got a berry bush. Okay, um... We're not going to be able to- I'll go for one more turn. We're not going to be able to get that berry bush this time, so two creatures are going to take damage. That's going to be Sienna and who else does- we don't want it to be Tadak here. Um, Lalana, I really don't want you to take damage because you're going to die. Miana has a good uh, immunity gene. I'm going to actually let Lamera take damage. Because I don't, um, she, she is most able to handle, oh, we gotta let two creatures take damage, though. I don't want Tata here to take damage. Um, we'll let Naduke Duke take damage, too, because he's a little bit stronger, so I'm gonna start one more day. Here we go. Let's attack, get food. It's a little bit laggy. This update has had some lag issues, unfortunately. Let's gather from this. Can we gather any more? Nope. But we have enough now, at least for these guys. And then, who do we want to breed? It doesn't really matter. Tadakir is capable of, um... Oh, we found another berry bush. Good. Uh, he is capable of having any, um... Any of the females breed with him. So we're going to breed these guys first, I think. And uh, try and get those horns in. Oh, there's another berry bush. Excellent. Okay. So I think the tribe is safe for now. And we're going to leave off here. So I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.